On the latest edition of SVG Sports Tech On Demand, we have the distinct pleasure now to be joined by Chris Crump. He is Senior Director of Sales and Marketing for Comrex. Chris, first off, hope you and your loved ones and your colleagues are all doing well. You hanging in okay out there? Everybody is safe, and we actually scored some toilet paper yesterday, so we're, we're way good at Whoa, this point. Whoa, be careful about how many people you tell that to. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a, very, very happy to hear everyone's doing well. Uh, look, this is obviously, uh, you know, the coronavirus has impacted the broadcast industry dramatically in many ways, one being that you're seeing many people, uh, news, sports, the entire spectrum, they're broadcasting from places and in ways that they have never done it before. Um, and you guys are one of those companies that are really on the forefront of that. I have to imagine you've been uh, working with a lot of your clients in new ways the past few days. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, we've not been busier in our company's history, our company's almost 60 year history than these past three weeks because everyone has to figure out how to work from home. Um, mm -hmm. And we've been s selling gear, flying off the shelves, and our, our team has been very busy and very efficient in getting it done. Very cool. So uh, let's dive into some of those solutions that are flying off the shelves right now. What's, what are some of the new products or services uh, that the company has been working on um, that you feel in particular are making a difference, especially in this environment right now? Well, audio over IP has always been kind of our sweet spot um, for the past 10 years, 15 years almost now. We've been selling IP audio products, and I can just kind of shift over and show you a couple. So oh, our, yeah, access, yeah, our access IP audio codec is really used by a lot of radio stations. So engineers are giving these to talent. They hook up a, a headset um, into the mic and headphone output. They connect back to a rack mount unit like this in the studio, and they're able to do live, very low delay, high quality audio back and forth uh, over just a public internet connection or a, a ethernet connection in a home studio. Mm -hmm. That's very, very cool. So, uh, yeah, I, no, please go ahead. I was going to say, we did the same thing for video, and a lot of our customers are actually sending home um, anchors and reporters with kits like this, where they have this portable unit, uh, HDSDI with the camera in. They have two IFB audio returns. They've got a, a return video as well, so they can get a teleprompter back, and they connect to a live shot rack mount in the studio, or they can go rack mount to rack mount. So that's a solution that we've been selling a lot of mm -hmm. uh, recently. And of course, our support has been crazy with uh, a lot of talent um, asking for help trying to get this stuff set up because the engineers are so overwhelmed. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, pr I'm sure the ease of use um, for some of your products is uh, probably extra important right now because you do have people who are running technology that typically weren't running technology in the past, right? Of course. And luckily there's an app for that because there's an app for everything. And <laughs> right. so the engineer can dial in, look at the unit and go, oh, here's your problem. You need to turn your camera on. <laughs> so, and, and we have a lot of uh, 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 morning shows that are doing radio and television and these applications are really, really good for them. And of course we have a lot of uh, small box products as well. Like we've got, um, our uh, Opal, which is something that is great for a podcast. And this is something that really doesn't require a lot of technology other than a web browser on a computer or a smartphone to call in and have 15 kilohertz high quality audio for audio contribution. Um, BrickLink has been a great point to point audio link, um, just a standard internet connection. Um, could be public internet or private LAN, point to point audio or point to multi point, and then our VH2. Uh, two-line voice over IP hybrid. So a lot of these solutions are really filling a gap in times like this when an engineer needs to figure out, how am I going to get my talent on the air? How am I going to get high-quality audio? How am I going to get high-quality video with a really low delay? And these are products that we've been pushing for the past several years. And uh, believe me, they're, we're, our production team is keeping really you know, working really hard to try and keep up. Yeah, I, I can only imagine. Yeah, Comrex, your guys' solutions, as you said, have been doing solving these kinds of problems for a very long time, and now it's just ha sweeping the entire industry at scale. Uh, I'm wondering, uh, even prior to um, the coronavirus outbreak and the canceling of sports and the uh, or, and the dramatic change and everything going on, uh, how does this fit? And maybe what were some other maybe key industry trends that um, you guys in particular were focusing on in the market? Um, you, you know, maybe going into this season prior before all this happened and going into the spring, you know, trade show season, what were some key trends that maybe you guys had your eyes on? 
Well, obviously, you know, getting audio and video from a remote location back to the studio is something that we've always been focusing on. Um, and everything is getting away from ISDN services uh, and going toward IP. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing with video, satellite trucks, um, expensive. Um, and, you know, it's still a vital and important part of what uh, television broadcasters and sports broadcasters do. Uh, but being able to get a crew into a small location with uh, something like this to replace that satellite truck using 4G LTE um, bonded networks and, and so forth has been really key. So, um, you know, that just continues to be um, a trend for us and we continue to, to fill that gap very nicely. Sure, sure. And so how has the company internally responded to what's been going on with the, the pandemic? And this could be, you know, either in your internal operations or how you're serving um, the community and your clients in a different way. Uh, how have you guys responded to, are you used to working from home or has this been a, a pretty big shift for you guys? Just kind of curious about how the company's holding up. Well, for me personally, I'm senior director of sales and I spend my life in uh, Delta Sky Clubs all over the mm -hmm. planet and in hotels and convention centers. So this is my, my new normal. I'm having to do demos like this. And you can see I, I've got my setup here. So this is going to be my NAB show for. Sure. Um, <laughs> and I'm okay health-wise. I mean, I had just come back from uh, London, uh, LA, and New York, and I had a sore throat, went and got checked, and the doctor pushed me out of the office as quickly as possible and said, here, take these, uh, take these steroids, you'll be fine. Okay. And I am, I'm, I'm good. Um, good, good. Uh, at our factory in Massachusetts, um, we're really concerned about the health and safety of our employees. So a lot of our uh, support and um, our administrative staff are now working from home and we had to do some small furloughs, but um, we really need to keep that uh, factory space safe for our employees. So that's been difficult for us to deal with. Um, and a lot of our administrators in, in the building are having to step up. All of our software people are working remotely. And it's a challenge. We're still able to produce. We're still able to ship, but we have to do it with a really, really small crew right now. Yeah, for sure, sure. And your relationship with your clients, uh, how has that changed? Is it purely just more video chats like this? Or um, I'm sure you're, like you were saying earlier, you're getting a lot of calls over people who are need, need something quick because they're trying to answer you know, problems that they couldn't have foreseen a week or two ago. Well, being a sales guy, my, my cell phone number is on my business card. Mm -hmm. And so I'm hearing from a lot of people I wouldn't have normally heard from before. Sure. And that's fine. I mean, I love my job and I love helping customers get on the air because that's what I do. Um, uh, that's been a little bit of a challenge, you know, doing a 10 o'clock at night support call. Um, but for the most part, I mean, uh, everybody's pitching in. We know this is an extraordinary time. Uh, and, you know, one of the things that I would say is uh, it's been nice to be recognized as crif uh, critical to the infrastructure mm. of what's going on right now. So we've gotten our, our note from the government saying that our employees are critical to the infrastructure to be able to keep broadcasters on the air doing what they do. Sure, sure. Yeah, we certainly appreciate all the effort that you're getting to, uh, you guys are giving in order to keep sports broadcasters and other sports content creators on the air. Uh, so uh, appreciate the good work and thanks a lot for taking time with us today here on SVG Sports Tech on Demand, Chris. Hey, it's our pleasure and shout out to our production staff and our administrators in the building for, for you know, stepping up. They've been doing a great work, great, great job for us. Absolutely. He is Chris Crump. He is Senior Director of Sales and Marketing for Comrex. Go to sportsvideo.org to find more from the SVG Sports Tech On Demand blog.